Hey everybody, Diamonds by Tita here. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. Um, I've got a, a small diamond painting and cross stitch haul from Fan Sales. Now, this is not a PR package. This is something that I purchased myself, just to give you a heads up on. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, it is super early in the morning, very dark, um, working on, I think, one cup of coffee. Uh, I think I need to pour myself another one. And um, it's not quite as cold, um, no snow, so that's a good thing. So welcome in everybody. Um, if you are brand new, welcome. I hope you like the content. And if you are returning, welcome back. I am so thankful for each and every one of you. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay. So the first one, um, I know it's a winter one, but I had to get it because it's just too stinking cute. I just can't help it. Um, I saw this on Diamond Painting Bewitched Cat's channel, and I think it is the cutest thing ever. And I don't like my lighting. I know it's so early in the morning. Let me see if the ring light will be just enough. Hang on. Yeah, I think that might... That might be better. I guess not. Hang on. I'm going to pull this out. Uh, yeah, I know you're getting a little bit more glare, but I think we can see stuff better on it. I really like working with natural light a whole lot better. Okay, so here it is. It's this beautiful little kitty making a snow angel. Do you remember doing snow angels as a kid? Um, I grew up in an area where we didn't have snow, so I didn't get to do snow angels until I was an adult and moved to a state that had snow. So I loved it. This is one of kind of the little thicker, stiffer canvases, but it is absolutely adorable. It's a 40 by 50, so it's a good size to work with and it has 22 colors and these are all in letters let me just show this to you and the canvas is um it's it's readable there's no problems with it that i see i'm going to look at the letters to make certain the b's and d's aren't the same yeah b's and d's are in different colors so this one is super cute um, and the drills are already in the little Ziploc baggies. And we can see that it has the grays and the blues and the browns. All the colors that we're seeing in this canvas. So, there is that one. I'm going to just set this one aside for just a second. And then... The next one also I saw on Diamond Painting the Witch Cat's channel. And I love this one as well. Um, it is so cute. Look at that. Look at this little pup on a sled wearing a little sweater. And he looks like he's smiling, doesn't he? I don't know how dogs do that. I've had dogs that, you know, when they pant, they always look like they're smiling. They always look so happy. Um, and I've had dogs that don't. I don't know what it is, but I think they're adorable when they smile. This is just a small 30 by 40. And it has 20 colors, so not a lot of colors. And these are all in letters again as well. So let me show you that again. Super cute. And I'm going to bring up the legend so you can see it. Um, the drill field has lots of um, color blocking, as you can see. But that looks like it's going to come out really cute. Drills are also packed in the little Ziploc bag or zip top. I can't call them Ziploc. Zip They're a little zip top. 
There we go on that one. And that one is super cute. And I'm going to put this one off to the side for a second. And then let me get my next one. My next one is um, a smaller AB canvas that I really like because it's coffee related. I need to have coffee related things. Oops, let's turn it right side up. This one um, actually says, but first coffee. It'll say, but first, and then it has coffee in here. I'm gonna show you the thumbnail. I think it's really cute. I like it. I could put this right up above my coffee pot, I think. Um, this one has 30 colors. Let me bring it in just a little bit because I want to show you the ABs. I want to at least show you the ABs. There is 30 colors, and these are in letters and symbols, and I guess I should show you that, that really quick so you can see that. And then you can see the drill filled. It's not wanting to focus so much this morning. There you go, you can see the drill filled. But I wanna show you the sparkly ABs in this. I won't bring all of these out, but I wanna show you at least the ABs. And I can see a few hiding in here. Just pull these out. if I'm missing any in here. Do you see any more sparkly things? Nope. Okay. So for anybody that is new to diamond painting and doesn't know what AB is, it stands for Aurora Borealis. And as I show you this, it has that extra sparkly coating on it, so it makes it super sparkly. And it's like the Aurora Borealis. That's what it is standing for the AB. So there's that pretty orange. And then you have a little darker brownish orange. And here is a red. And here is another one. And here is now, I don't know if that is actually a black, come on, focus, there we go, or exactly what color it is, but I think that's probably might be in the coffee itself. Let me see what this one is. This is in color one. It's color B. Let's see if I can find really quick where... 154. Let me let me just see if I can find the bees just really fast because I'm kind of curious where that is hiding. Oh, and a core. Oh, okay. It's. Let me get a pen. There's a couple dotted in through here. I'm playing the Where's Waldo game because they are just dotted. From what I can say, like I said, in through here and in through up here, here. So they're kind of dotted all over throughout the place, out the canvas. Okay, so there is that one. I'm put my drills back and I'm gonna put this off to the side. And then my next one um, is a cross stitch and I'll tell you, I really just couldn't pass it up. This is a Joy Sunday. And it's this little puppy with a boot. And I don't know why this triggered this memory, but it did. I don't know if any of you guys read when you were little, The Pokey Little Puppy. It was one of those small golden books. That was like one of my favorite books as a kid, The Pokey Little Puppy. And I don't know why this reminds me of it, but it reminds me of it. So I had to get it. 
It's called Dog and Shoes. It's a 14 count, uh, 21 by 25. And I will show this to you real quick. Joy Sunday has all the instructions on the back of the bag. I'm gonna pull you out just a little bit. I'm gonna show you. This is the chart that you could uh, do a counted cross stitch with. And um, it's also gonna show all the back stitching. So there's lots of back stitching in this one. And then this one has 30 colors that are full stitch and it has the one back stitch. And it's just small. Isn't he cute? I mean, I can see everything really clearly. I know it kind of looks like a, like a mess compared to when we're looking at our diamond paintings. But the main thing is, I'm going to bring this up to you so you can see it is that you can see what each of the squares are so you can stitch. And I can see everything really clearly. This is a partial too. Everything in the white will not be stitched. So it's just gonna be the puppy. And then I'm gonna flip this paper over real quick and I'm gonna show you the colors. I'll bring you in, not out. So you can see the lovely colors. So I just think this is adorable. I love it. I am very, very happy with it. So this is my fan sales haul, guys. I'll give you my little recap here. There is my little puppy. I, I yeah, I, I love this one. It is just too cute. And here is my butt first coffee. And again, I apologize for the glare. It's just super early in the morning. There you go. Not having so much. And then my pup on the sled. That is adorable. Definitely gonna do him for um, next Christmas or winter. And then, ah, this one is so adorable too. The cat snow angel. I just love it because look, it's got a hat and mittens, the scarf, the boots, just way too cute. Way, way, way too cute. I'll bring him out a little bit too. There you go. So that is all I have guys for you. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. And I hope you have a great day. Remember you're perfect exactly as you are. And do one thing that your future self is going to thank you for. And the other thing is you don't have to be perfect to be amazing. I keep telling myself that all the time. Don't like the perfectionism. There we go. So take care. Happy crafting. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.